Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and today I'm gonna get an opportunity to practice my welding. Now, I've mentioned many a time that I'm not a great welder, and what better an opportunity to practice welding on somebody else's piece of equipment? You can clearly tell that this is not the bucket off of my Kubota. My Kubota bucket is orange. I believe this bucket is off a New Holland? I think his tractor's a New Holland. Anywho, we're gonna be putting chain hooks on this today. One, two, and three chain hooks. Now, the guy that owns this wants to try his hand at welding, and I said, hey, when I'm welding these on, I'll give you a call and you can come on over and try it out. Uh, I did not tell him that I have a YouTube channel, so after I told him he can come over today and weld them on, I said, hope you're ready to be YouTube famous, and he said, not in the slightest, but I'm doing it for free, so I guess he's gonna have to deal with being on YouTube. We're gonna pull the old ESAB MIGMASTER 250 out today and just weld these on. Now, these are weld on uh, hooks, they're already beveled, so we just should have to clean up the spots, make sure they're square, and show Don what he has to do, and then I'll get to practice as well. It's always good to practice, especially on something like this. This is a non-critical item, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm going to go inside and uh, wait for Don to get here, get changed so I'm not in my dress clothes, and see you guys in a little bit. All right, Don made it over and uh, we got his bucket set up. So somebody left a comment on one of my videos, one of the previous ones, they said the metal is not clean enough and that's why my welds don't look great. So this time we are going to take the time, we're going to mark out where we want to grind all this paint off. We're gonna clean up these hooks and uh, Don wants to learn how to weld. I don't know why he wants to learn from me, but low bar. Low bar, low bar, all right. Low bar. So first things first, we're gonna decide where they need to go. I'm gonna grab a paint pen. We're gonna make some marks on this thing and that's where we're gonna grind all the paint off. So let's find, let's find out how wide this bucket is, first of all. Oh, it's five. wider than five feet, 61 inches. So everybody knows half of 61 is 30 and a half. So 30 and a half is where our center mark's gonna be. So we'll grind here to here. That'll give us plenty of space. So then you need to decide how far off the edge do you want this? Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do All right, four. so the outside is four then? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, let's do outside four. Okay. Right there to there, and we'll do the same thing over here. Gotta get it all cleaned up, which I brought the cleaner upper is right there. So this is gonna be a, this is just a soft pad that'll just take the paint off. Do the same thing to these. Again, safety third, no gloves. No gloves, no, no, eye, no eye No eye protection. At least I'm, the, the rotation is away from right. me, so. If anybody should be wearing safety glasses, yeah, it's how's the, is it going? Let's see, is it going into the camera? Do that again, let's see. Do another one. All see. right, hold on, hold on, don't rush me. It's gonna cool. Yeah, dude, that's actually a really good shot like that. There you go. Yeah. This is where you don't want to be, right here. <laughs> don't be here. Oh, we need to make a spot for our ground. We'll do that right here. And that's the ground for the electricity? Yep. So essentially how a welder works is the positive, if you think of it this way, the positive end of the electricity is coming through your handle and then the negative portion is gonna be running through the metal. So when they meet, they arc. Same thing if you were to take two wires and spark them together. Okay, and that's what's making the, the weld. Yeah, and then your copper wire that's in here, that's just being a filler material that is filling in where it sparks. That's my basic understanding of welding. Okay. Basic. And does that just keep feeding out or do you yep. have to feed it? No, you pull the trigger and it just goes. Okay. Yep. Cool. What's all that stuff on there? The previous dude that I bought that from was lazy about cutting off his wire and just melted it off on the ground. 
that's a lazy way to do it. Lazy and ugly. Lazy and ugly. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run you through everything before we turn the welder on. Uh, we're gonna set up the center one and we'll have you start in the center one. You're having me start? Yeah, so I'm gonna run you through everything cold first though. Okay. So we're not gonna turn the machine on, but you're gonna grab the handle and we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you the technique to do and then you're gonna do it. Like, you're just gonna slowly move it. Okay. I'll, show you. I'll show you, don't worry, don't worry. I want your viewers to, to, to learn something and having me do it, they might not learn anything, but they're all Listen, there. they're not learning much from me either, all right? <laughs> they're just here for the, the ambiance. That's a cool tool. Okay, so that's centered. Now what I'm gonna do to square it, take this square off the front of your bucket, and it's actually squared. So that knows that we're actually square to the bucket now, and then we're perfectly 90 degrees of the it's bucket. It's actually the perfect size. Yep. So that is where we're gonna weld it, right there. Okay? You're gonna start back here, and you're gonna wanna hit that at like a 45 right at the base, and you're just gonna go nice and straight, and you're just gonna push, okay, just like this. It might be easier for you to see, like, if you wanna sit on the other side, whatever, it's wherever you're most comfortable. If you wanna be over here and do it, you know, so you're over here, just push that bead just like that. The first one you're gonna do is gonna be nice and straight, just like this, and then we'll take a look at it, and if I need to cover it up, I'll cover it up, but then once we get out further, because there's gonna be multiple passes here, one pass is not gonna take up that whole thing. Yeah. So once we get a little further out, we'll start weaving, and that's when you do like figure eights, just like that. All right. All right, there's that. You ready for me to turn on the welder? Got it. All right. You're good to go. Okay, so when I press, it's gonna start working. When you pull that trigger, it's gonna start working. So you wanna move, yep, there you go, you got it. I wish I had more light. Hi? Huh? said, I wish I had more light. Oh, there we go, okay. What am I caught on? Just hit the, just blip the trigger. It'll, it'll melt to it, here. I'll cut it for you so you don't have such a long tail. Now I know what to expect, okay. Okay, here, let me cut this for you, because you don't want that long of a tail out. Yeah. So you just cut it down. Okay. That's about the length of the tail you want. Okay. So. Now you know what to expect, now you don't have to be so scared of it, right? Yep, and, you, and, and like, would you guess I'm gonna be doing like kind of like this fast? You're probably gonna go a little slower than that. A little slower than that, okay. Yep. see. Terrible. Yeah, you missed completely. All right, let's give this a try and see what happens here. That's a little better. Oh, that's, dude, I mean, that's, that's a thousand it, times better. That's what you want it to look like. <laughs> it's, I mean, come on, it's not even close. Yeah, that's what you want it to look like. So now if I keep welding this side, what this yeah. hook's gonna wanna do is pull this way because it's so hot over here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this side okay. and I'm gonna connect it and then we'll just keep alternating sides so it stays straight. Because if I put this on here right now, it's probably a little off. Yeah, it is. You can see a gap up top. So we'll, we'll weld this side of it and that'll tighten it back down. That's how you do it. Nice and slow and easy and that's it. Yeah, you know what I need is, I need a pair of welder's goggles to watch you do it one yeah. time. That's what I need. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a second helmet. Yeah. All right, close your eyes. Close. How's that look? That looks like a professional weld to me. Yeah. That looks great. Doesn't look bad, huh? No. That'll hold on there. 
All right, close your eyes. Closed. How's that look? It looks awesome to me. Now, is that your figure eights? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So that's what overlaps it. So you're tying everything together. Yep. And you don't need anything in the I'm front. Gonna, I'm going to do the front and the back. Oh, OK. Yeah. I just want to get the sides done first. Yeah. That, to me, looks very professional and great. Yeah, right? Not bad, huh? In my opinion. Let's give a little close up of the welds. Yeah, that looks damn good to me. Not terrible, huh? And then all the brown stuff you see on there, that's all just like... Um, yeah, I was going to ask, what is that? It's just like... Uh, that's what I care. Too busy Instagramming or something. What are you doing? I'm sending this photo to our friend Mike, you telling him that we're shooting an episode of Everything Elliot. Oh, sure. Do you want to redeem yourself and try again? I do not. Over it already? Wow, no, I'm right. not. I'll try, I'll try one, but I, I, I just feel I'm going to butcher it so bad. I was able to fix that, wasn't I? That ain't coming off of there. You'll rip your bucket in half before that comes off of there. All right, let me try one more then. Okay. All right. You ready to try again? I am ready to try again. Let's see if I even need these. Check to see if he needs his readers. I need them. You need your readers? Yep. Put them on then. We call them 46ers. <laughs> so you got a few years, but at 46, I'd be surprised if you don't. Hard crack. What do you think, buddy? My guess is I did better than the first time. I would agree with that statement. Hold on, let's show the viewers at home. Yeah, I got better as it went. Yeah, you sure did. You, you were a little off track in the beginning there. Yep. But uh, things progressed nicely. I went better as it went. I, 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 I could see it better. And dude, this was the key. I'm telling see, you, being See down. this, see the light? Yeah. That was the key. Once yeah. I got down here, yeah. so I missed that whole gap right there. That's all right. Now that looks good though. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Not terrible at all. I've certainly seen worse. Are you gonna go for it? Let me go for it. You're gonna go for it? All right, go for it. Yeah, get that out of your way. If that's in your way, just go ahead. Get it out of your way. Not as good as the first one. Well, you, you, again, you started off a little weak. Yep. You finished all right, And though. then I finished okay. Started off weak. Should I try to fix that now? If you want to try to fix it, go ahead and try to fix it. Can you just sneak in between the two. Not bad. Little, little air pocket there. One more little fix. Let's try it. Go ahead. Fix away. There you go. Okay, better. It won't come off of there. All right, let me tie that thing in so it doesn't pop off of there when you're trying to pull a tree out. Closing eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. Oh yeah, that's the business right there, sir. There, how's that look? It's not bad. Burning it hot. See all the paint melting back? Yeah, look at that. Yep. That's welding, boys. That's work. It smells like work. That's electricity. All right, let me hit this back side and the front side, and then we'll move on to the third hook. We don't care how we win. We just want to, we don't care if we win ugly. That ain't coming off of there. Guaranteed. Give you the Elliott guarantee it ain't coming off of there. All I'm right. excited. Your turn. Set it up. See what you can do. Good? Started terrible and ended better. No, you barely touched the... Yep. It's all right. I'm gonna fix it. Uh, so before you do that, yep. you wanna hit the other side because you can see it's already starting to yep. tilt. Okay. So you wanna oh, yeah. bring it back. Uh, 
how'd that turn out? The end was good. Yeah, the end was super good. And the beginning wasn't. Should I touch up there or touch up here? Hold on, it's, I don't know it's how yours, pull back. I don't know how yours. a little bit. Fill in your gaps. Fill in your gaps. Yeah. And then I want you to try a figure eight. Okay. That's asking a lot. It's really not. I'll just go over it. It'll just look like a fatter weld. Let me try one this more. This is good video evidence of who welded what hooks on and yes. which ones pop off. Yep. I don't think I'm ready for a figure eight at all. You're not ready? You're not confident? Much better. That's not bad. Much better. It's not bad. Faster. It's not bad. Yeah. I'll touch it up for you. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Yeah, that's no problem. But dude, that's... The end, I was, I felt better. That's not bad. And I went faster. You break, you're gonna do the other side? Let's try it. That's what I like to hear, confidence. Like you said, there's only one way. There's only one way to learn. How do you think I learned? I didn't go to welding school. But that's obvious. <laughs> this one's terrible, I can already tell. I did not have the vision I had on the other one. I went way too high. It's not terrible. The actual, I didn't get enough at the yeah, bottom. You just got a little off track is all, but. Yeah. My motion felt good, but I was too high. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll touch her up for you. There's only one way to learn, though. Huh? Only one way to learn. That's right. A little better, huh? Yeah. A little better? All right. To me, it looks way better. Get a, you're going to get a before over there? Yeah, this is the Don weld with a thing sticking out, whatever that is, with a Peroni's disease weld. <laughs> There's Don's Peroni's weld. All right. Ethan's going to, or Elliot's going to fix it. That is not coming off of there. Turn that off. Because we're done welding. Success. Not a bad little project, huh? I'm excited. I can guarantee you those won't come off of there. And that's all that counts. Yeah, I can guarantee you. That's all that matters. You'll rip this sheet metal before those come off of there. Are we painting these tonight? Yeah. Oh. Unless, I mean, do you not want to? It'll No, rest. that's exciting. Oh, okay. No, I'm, that's awesome. I didn't, did you get paint? I have some. Okay. Now, the most important part of this entire YouTube process is getting a good thumbnail photo. I mean, it's redneck welding and you were teaching a novice, so. That's for sure gonna hold, though. Yeah. For sure. And that's all that All right, matters. that's good enough. All yeah. right, let's, uh, let's clean up a little bit, because we're done with the welder. So let's get that out of the way. It stays hot for a while. Well, that's the one we just welded. You're also standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> I mean, what's metal melt at? Metal melts at 1,200 degrees? Yeah, it's... I so mean, you, you gotta remember it's 1,200 degrees. 
because it's melting the metal. That should be cool enough. Funny, I did have some, I had some acetone too. But. This is a tractor implement, this is not a car. Acetone, you were gonna clean it? Come on, get out of town. It, it helps the paint stick better. It helps the paint stick better, he says. It can help the paint sometimes oh in here. Oh my god. Just like that. Quick, simple, little ditty. Get the front. Can't forget the front. And we gotta do our little, where we did the ground. Oh yeah, don't forget the ground. Yep, we got it. A little bit of a drip there. A little, a little too much. We're not going for looks here, we're going for rust protection. There you go. Look at that. See, and you were gonna buy a whole can for like six squirts. Everything Elliot guarantees it. That's right. The old, listen, I'll guarantee it until it breaks. I think three, I think three hooks was the correct decision. I think so too. I was debating on two, but I'm like, you know what? I, I'm gonna want three. I think three hooks was the correct decision. That looks good. All right, so we got Don's bucket finished off. We got three hooks on here. We put one in the center and then two, four inches off. Gave him a little paint. Don tried his best. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of the scurvy, I think. Um, Don tried his best, but you do have to learn somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So he, he did his best and, and I just went over top. No harm, no foul. The welds turned out decent and uh, there was, like I said, some guy commented his name was like welding and fabrication. Told me that my welds are dog sh because I don't do a good enough job cleaning my metal. So I took my time, cleaned the metal this time and there is no doubt the welds turned out way better. So I guess going forth, I need to start doing a better job of cleaning the metal before I start welding. Yeah. Um, I'm very satisfied. I mean, I mean, I'm 100% satisfied. 100% satisfied. satisfied. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It's just a little quick DIY welding. If you wanna buy some hooks, instead of doing the bolt-on hooks, you can get weld-on hooks. You don't need a big welder like mine. You could absolutely do this project with a 110 flux core welder. No doubt in my mind, you could put these on here and they wouldn't come off. So don't be scared if you don't have a big welder. Grab your 110 flux core stab them on there, it won't be an issue, I can guarantee it. Guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the like button while you're here, and I'll catch you on the next one.